I got a freaking tattoo. <laughs> so, next video clip that you guys are going to see is just this like short Snapchat video of like right after I got my tattoo. My friend, like I told him to film me while it was happening and he didn't. So this is the only clip I got. It's a bad video, I look bad, but you know what? I needed the content, so let's just go right into that. It's so weird, like it's real. <laughs> Next clip, you guys are gonna see my parents' reaction to my tattoo because they knew I was getting it, but didn't know what I was getting because I'll explain later, but I got my tattoo for them, so I kinda wanted it to be a surprise. So yeah, let's just cut to their reaction. Wait, come down here. Any room? No, it has to be right. dramatic. Wait, <laughs> are you ready? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. Okay, we good? Yeah. You can look. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lena, you said, I'm not getting in with your day. I know, she, oh. did, she freaking guessed it, and I was I like, I know, no. she called me, she called me and told oh. me after you guessed it, she's like, oh my god, my mom just guessed what my tattoo it's idea so was. It's so pretty. I know, I love it. Yay. I'm seeing how do yours, see? Now we have, like, <laughs> they're like backwards, but. Yeah. Oh. Yep. It's so, cute. it's so cute. Keep it all nice and lubed up. Yeah. Nothing like hearing your mom say lubed up. Hey, Annie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. For you and mom. Okay. <laughs> now you guys are probably wondering, I mean, a lot of you guys have probably seen on like Instagram and Snapchat, like pictures of the tattoo, because I kind of keep showing it off because I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, you're probably wondering why I got it and I kind of waited to say anything except for just like to close friends because I wanted to make a video about it. So, okay, for starters, like there it is. It's a moon and a sun. And I chose, a s those birds are being loud and I can't tell if it's gonna be like too loud in the video. We'll see, okay. I chose the sun and moon because like my dad's nickname growing up was Moon and I always joke it's because he has a big ass head. Who knows why that's his nickname? leave your conspiracies down below anyways so whenever he was with my mom um we just kind of had this like family joke that like she was the son so um it just kind of stuck anyways and as you saw in my mom's reaction she has a sun and moon tattoo and i don't remember if i showed it in my dad's or not but he has a moon tattoo and so i just kind of felt like if i was gonna get one like my first one should be something for them also so that way they didn't get mad at me for getting it <laughs> Um, because my mom and I always said we were going to get tattoos together and I just got tired of waiting on her honestly so I just decided to do it on my own. saw a picture on Pinterest and I don't even know if it was a tattoo or if it was just a drawing like it like it was meant to be a tattoo but I like fell in love with the way that it looked. I'll insert the picture here hopefully I can find it either here here wherever it goes and um, then when I got to the tattoo place I actually ended up walking in there like 30 minutes before they closed because I was very adamant about getting the tattoo on my parents wedding anniversary even though they're divorced now like still I just wanted it like on that day that just seemed more special and that was June 28th and it was like so many things had gone wrong that day and like everybody who had said they would go with me like couldn't go by the time the day came the day was just not going well and I was like I thought I was gonna be able to get it on that day and I was really upset because it just felt very important to me to get it on that day so finally I got somebody to go with me because I just didn't want to go alone like that just seems like too big of a moment to go by myself so I got somebody to go with me and we show up and literally it was like th they closed at like 10 and we showed up at like 9 25 9 30 and so I walk in and immediately I'm like okay like are you guys gonna be able to do it and then when I showed them how simple my design was and how small I wanted it they were like oh yeah that's gonna be fine and so I showed them what I wanted and then um the guy's like, all right, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start drawing this. And I was like, all right, cool. So I sit down with my friend and we're talking and I was explaining how like in the picture, I'll bring it back up again, like the lines of the sun touch the circle and I didn't really like that and I wanted mine to like not touch. I think it would look better. Wondering why there's two different tattoo pictures that I've showed you. So basically the first picture that was just a drawing like on like an ocean background was what I had originally wanted from the beginning and I think I mentioned already that I like I think I said that it was a drawing and I wasn't sure if it was meant to be a tattoo but I kind of made it my tattoo idea that was that picture 
then the one that you just saw that was like actually a tattoo on somebody's hand is what I ended up finding later and then using as my model when I actually went to the tattoo place. You'll hear me try to explain this in the next clip and it doesn't make any sense. I'm leaving it in for comedic relief. But yeah, that's a better explanation, I think. I just realized that I've been saying the wrong thing the whole time and that <laughs> the actual model for my tattoo was a tattoo. I'll show you guys what I was thinking about. I put, like, let me show you this picture. And like, this is what I was thinking about because that's originally what I wanted. And then I just now remembered that I actually found a tattoo that I was really modeling off of. Can you tell it's been a long time since I made a video? Like, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <sighs> that like the lines of the sun touch. And then also it was like the sun and moon were like catty corner on the wrist. And I just, that's not what I wanted. I wanted them next to each other because on my mom's, they're next to each other. That's thunder. Can you see the gray skies behind me? So then the tattoo artist comes back out and he's like, all right, this is what I have. And I'm like, I freaking love it. Like, that's perfect. And he's like, all right. He's like, so I'm going to go put this on the little like transfer paper thing that they have. He's like, and we'll take you back in like 10 minutes. He takes me back and he shows it to me again on their little like paper that they have. And I'm like, yep, that's awesome. And then he like kind of like has me set my wrist out and he places the paper on it. And he's like, all right, we're going to like stamp it. And he pulls it off and he's like, all right, so you have to go over to the mirror, look at it in the mirror, like make sure that like it's placed right, that you really like it. So I'm doing like all these like weird poses in the mirror. I'm like doing like this and like posing like I went for an Instagram and like having my arm just down hanging like next to me. And I was like, no, I'm in love with it. It really didn't hurt that bad. Like, okay, I've like heard that it hurts the closer it is to bone. And like, you can see like mine's on my wrist. That's really not close to any of my bones to where it really should have hurt that bad. It just was like, I think it was weird because you can literally feel it cutting into you like it was literally like I imagine like watching somebody just like slice you open and so it was just weird because you could just and I couldn't see him the whole time because the way his like hand was resting like I could like it was blocking my view so maybe that kind of helped um and I, tr I didn't like really want to watch like I kind of want to just like wait to like the big reveal at the end but it was kind of like I, it was just kind of like feeling like a knife just like dit, 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 like that's what it felt like which is literally what it's doing and that's what it felt like to me for those of you if you're wanting to get one and you don't think you have a big pain tolerance and you want a wrist tattoo you're probably gonna be fine but overall like when it was done I was like oh like that was it and it literally took maybe 10 minutes I think it did not take long at all this is like the only bad this is the only like bad part about it I would say it was like get done and then you're like he's like okay so it's gonna be $70 and I was like because I had just been there like to that tattoo place like earlier that week with another friend and my friend knew one of the people that worked there and like he was talking to my friend about the tattoo he wanted which was gonna be like this big on his wrist okay and like completely filled in like all this stuff and his friend was like yeah that's gonna be like 40 bucks maybe he's like it's not gonna be that bad so I'm like okay mine's not nearly as bad I'm thinking it's gonna be like 30 and I'd already been to another tattoo place and asked them and they had said 60 and I thought that was a little much for like how small it is because another friend of mine just got a tattoo that's like her whole like rib right here and it was like words and that was 80 so I was like I felt like mine was gonna be pretty cheap and so he says 70 and I was like okay and then you have to tip and I remember like I was paying with card and like the recommended tips came up and it was like for like 15% was like $20 and I was like yeah I was like I'm not gonna be able to do that so I ended up only tipping 10 but like I wasn't expecting it to cost that much so just be prepared um my mom says that they scammed me because probably because I went in there so late and because I'm only 18 like they didn't expect me to like fight them on it and luckily I had graduation money so it wasn't super horrible so I'm going to talk about like the after effects so it's like I had to wear a bandage on it until the next morning and like it could, it hurt and it was like hard to move my wrist because the bandage was so tight and then after that so I'm like I'm just there's so many noises right now I'm just about I think I'm at two weeks since it happened at this point and it's like weird because I would rent like it's very itchy like my mom said that's because of it's like scabbing and stuff but you can't itch it she's like the most you can do is just like pat it and then another part is like sometimes it'll just randomly like twinge with pain like just out of nowhere I won't even be doing anything like I could just be sitting here with my arm just down and then just like it'll just hurt out of nowhere um, and it's not like excruciating it's just kind of like a little pinch I couldn't go swimming which was like I mean I still went swimming I just like kept my arm out of like the water and like showering was difficult because you can't get like direct like 
um, like you can't directly put water on it and then like um, you couldn't like use you couldn't like uh, shower in really hot water because like the steam will like open up your pores and I think like the ink could like seek into your pores or something like that so I did take like cold to like room temperature showers and I'm a person that likes piping hot showers so it was really difficult and I didn't enjoy it uh, I'm at the point now where I think I'm probably okay to just take normal showers, but we'll see. I'm not, I don't really want to risk it. That is my tattoo experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe it encouraged some of you guys to get tattoos because I am definitely hooked. That's one thing I will say is like as soon as you get it, you want to get more. I'll probably do another video after I get that one just talking about how it was, how it was different from my first one and just like placement differences, how it felt. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, definitely like comment down below, like this video. And I hope you guys are excited for videos because I know I say this every single time, but I'm really trying to get back on my YouTube game. I love it so much and I miss it and I am so motivated. The camera is so messed up right now and it makes it really difficult. Like I have a phone and that's what I'm filming on now and I don't think it looks that bad. But for certain videos, like my phone just doesn't work. Let's hope that this is the time that I really just get back on my game and we can look back on this moment a year from now and be like, wow, she really did it. Alright, bye guys.